Right. Something's not happy. It's one of my troops on the wall. That probably means the wall's down. Yes, it does. The wall's down, and I've already lost some of my uh, inventory here. They're routing, uh, but that's really no matter to me. I'm quite happy for those to disappear. I suspect that the next ones to go will be these. Uh, we're thirteen percent damage on here, so we'll be hitting that wall next. Um, like I said, as soon as these are off the battlefield, then we'll start to replace them with some of my better elite troops. Yeah. Okay, they've done their bit anyway. They'll have done some firing. They'll have inflicted some casualties on the enemy. Um, and the guns that have done the damage, I suspect to be these. These will be the ones that are picking up the chevrons from attacking that infantry on the wall. And um, what I now need to do really is to destroy them so that those chevrons aren't going to mean anything. Now he's got some lancers heading my way, it seems. I'm really surprised. It looks like a single lancer heading my way. That's quite odd, isn't it, really? quite understand that. Forty two out of forty five it says he's got. He's got a single lancer there. How does he manage to get a single lancer out there like that? It's very odd, isn't it? But will that single lancer be able to hurt my artillery? Oh no! <laughs> it's a riderless horse. Goodness me, he must have been hit by the uh, artillery or something. Oh, no. Gosh, that was a bit worrying, wasn't it? <laughs> right. Okay, here we go. What I'm going to do is um, send in my hussars to take out the artillery. And I'm going to back up the attack of the hussars with the, um, with the guards. That's the two lots of guard cavalry that I've got here in the rear. I'm going to form them into that diamond formation um, because I'm told that it improves their effectiveness in the attack. I'm not wholly convinced but anyhow let's see how I go. Right, now he seems to be leaving me alone at the moment. He's leaving me completely alone at the moment which I find astonishing. Now these chaps here I'm going to bring over a little bit closer, just so they can be there in support. My um, hussars here have slaughtered those. We're now going to have a go at these as well. And they've gone as well. Now what I don't want, of course, is for my bazaars to go chasing after the odd router there um, that might then cause me some problems. Um, I might then go running into his lines. He does show on the top right hand map there, you see these here, these red um, squares with the, the white in the middle. That means that he's routing, of course. You can see down here he's got one out of 18 left. I don't expect a one, a single one out of 18 unit to survive, of course. All right, fusiliers of the line. Mm -hmm. I don't, now, those guns are right in front, so I'm not going to be doing anything at all with those guns. We'll just check up on those um, hussars again. They're the Pavlograd hussars, actually. They're my better hussars, which is nice, isn't it? OK, so let's put those in a decent formation as well. And get those down here. Right, well, out of 20, he's now lost two units, so he's lost 10% um, of his army. Um, he will have lost um, other casualties as well from my fire from here. Let me just check here as well and just see how we're doing. We're still firing. Goodness knows what we're firing at from here, but let's see if we can reach anything. We can, actually. We can reach, by the look of it, his whole army from here. Now, that really, really does surprise me. Oops. Gosh, we're in a mess there, aren't we? What's going on there? Right, okay. So we are firing. Um, might just have a quick check and see what the results of that fire might be. Maybe it's because he's firing here, is he? Not in combat. Firing, not in combat. Okay, firing, not in combat. It looks like we're just returning fire, doesn't it, on these guns. Which means that we won't be affecting anything else. 120, 120, 120, 120. He seems fully intact, doesn't he, on here? Yeah, 120 there. 
45, 45, yeah, I think 38 out of 45. Oh, he's got a hit there, though. He has been hit there, so maybe we are hitting. 45, 38. Now, that would be good if we're um, taking out some of the Lancers on the on his left flank there. It's going to be a bit of a, a boring one, this. Um, so I will skip bits of this battle out. Um, it's nice to see the overall tactics, I suppose. You know what's going on, don't you? Um, I've got my, looking on the top right map, you can see my general is there with the two howitzers. Um, I'm expecting that another unit of mine will be coming on, but it doesn't seem to be yet. It's because of this unit here that's decided it no, long, no longer wants to withdraw. So I'm going to withdraw that unit. Yeah. I'm going to keep the other one on the wall because they're still firing. So, And then once that unit is withdrawn from the field, of course, I'll... Um, I'll replenish that with some better troops. So could do really with um, withdrawing some of these troops that are up here as well, I think. It would be far better for me to be able to attack from here, yeah, with support from the walls here at the same time, and then put myself in a position on this hill here. Well, that's certainly what I'm going to aim for. So what I'm going to do now is go quiet, and then um, I will, uh, when I've got, got myself into a different position, um, then I'll show you what that position is. OK, here's the next stage of the battle. You can see that what's happened is he's peeled off one of his um, uh, cavalry units and he's decided to attack me as I'm coming out of the walls here. My intention is to um, to go up towards the, uh, the new troops that are arriving on the field there, my elite troops that will be arriving, um, and as I'm coming out of the walls he's decided to attack me. Fair enough, good tactics. Um, the trouble is that, that what I've done is I've seen what he's doing, I've halted all my troops that are coming through here, one's already got through so I've put those on square formation and then I'm simply fighting him off as he comes past us. So he hasn't got many men left there now, 15 out of 45. I don't think they're even going to be able to um, come back on the battlefield, I think they're just going to completely go eventually. The morale's very, very poor anyway. I, my cavalry and everything else is still in the same place where I left the game before, so nothing different there. So um, really, uh, oh, hang on a minute, he's seen something else here, hasn't he, that he can go for. Let me just put those, or do I need to? No, I don't. I think he was going to go for those then, wasn't he, actually? <laughs> and I almost missed those as well, goodness me. Now then, 85 out of 90, and he's down to 4 out of 45. This is one of his cavalry units that was on his left flank, if you remember, um, the ones that were facing my cavalry, or rather the ones that I suspected he was going to defend his artillery with, so um, he's obviously not doing that. So. Let's take these out of the square formation. Just thought I'd show you that part of the battle. Now, that was a new part of the battle, basically. So, just take them off combat as well. Don't think I need them on that anymore. I think I can rely on that cavalry disappearing completely now. Okay, the other thing that I should mention now to you is that, um, that uh, my general's still in the same position there. That's what I'm pointing at at the moment. Um, and then if you look over here, again on the top right map, you'll see that my artillery is still in... Um, a similar position. I've moved them forward slightly, but what's come on the field now is um, the 17th Jaeger Regiment. So I've asked the Jaegers and the um, uh, and the artillery, they're my howitzers, to take this hill. Uh, looking on the top right now, you can see where I'm facing the top of this hill here, that very white point there. That's the top of here. If I just move forward for you, you can see where that's going to put us. It's going to put us in this position here on top of this hill. Not so important with howitzers. Um, well, it doesn't matter. Um, it's a good vantage point for me to be in. I should be able to, again looking at the top right hand map, you can see the right hand corner of the fort here going all the way out to that hill there, plus my cavalry already over on the right flank. That should be a pretty good position to take him on there on the left. Now we're still okay for time, we've got another 42 minutes left, so no worries here. So we've now taken out two lots of his cavalry and we're taking out his, um, uh, sorry, two lots of his artillery and we're taking, we've taken out one of his um, uh, cavalry as well, which means that he's now down to 16 units because if you remember, Drue was, um, was killed by an assassin, so um, we are in a position of, um, of having um, a good advantage over him here now. I'm just going to um, get these troops here that I stopped to start moving again. That's these over. Oh, why hasn't he come out of square formation? I know I asked him to. OK, so take him out of the square formation. Notice these troops that came out of the side entrance, or the right-hand side, they're um, getting into position much quicker, of course, now. What he has done by that attack is he's managed to um, slow down my, um, my movements there up onto the hill. And of course, he'll slow down my um, ability to bring on the reinforcements as well by doing that, um, which is not really good, but I, I want my troops to be 
over on this side here, so I can either withdraw them or attack with these. It depends how confident I'm feeling, really, I suppose. But, um, where should I put these? Somewhere uh, over here, perhaps, for now. And then we'll sort them out when they get there. 